Glasgow has long had a reputation for being a rough and tumble city, where organized crime and gang violence thrive. For years, one man stood out as the kingpin of the Glasgow underworld, Thomas Tam McGraw, also known as the licensee or one bore McGraw. McGraw was a notorious gangster involved in organized crime, including extortion and drug trafficking. Despite his criminal activities, McGraw was once one of the wealthiest businessmen in Glasgow, with an estimated worth of £10 million. McGraw's life of crime began at an early age, with shoplifting and burglary in the 1960s. He later became involved in the Bar L gang, specialising in armed robbery and participating in post office raids throughout Scotland. Despite being one of the most wanted criminals in the country, McGraw managed to evade the police for some time before being arrested in a failed robbery of a social club outside Glasgow. However, the circumstances of his arrest led to speculation that he may have been a police informant, providing information on associates in exchange for protection from his own illegal activities. During the 1980s, McGraw expanded his criminal operations and became involved in narcotics such as heroin. He also purchased nightclubs and pubs, and was identified as a figure involved in the Glasgow Ice Cream Wars in 1984. McGraw was attempting to expand his own ice cream van business and had been known to use violence and intimidation to secure the most lucrative rounds for himself. In 1998, McGraw was arrested for drug smuggling but was once again acquitted, despite several of his associates being convicted. He was also attacked by unidentified assailants in 2002, but was protected by a bulletproof vest and received only minor injuries. Despite his criminal activities, McGraw was heavily protected by imported bodyguards from Ireland and surveillance by the Serious Crime Squad. He reportedly brokered a deal with rival Glasgow organised crime figure Paul Ferris, paying him £1.50 to £2 million to keep the peace and prevent revenge attacks. In 2007, McGraw died of a suspected heart attack at his home in Glasgow at the age of 55. He was one of the most notorious figures in the history of Glasgow's organized crime scene. McGraw's life and legacy have been the subject of numerous films, books, and TV shows, including the 2013 film The Wee Man, in which he was portrayed by John Hanna. Despite his notoriety, McGrath's story serves as a reminder of the dangers and consequences of a life of crime. While he may have been a wealthy and powerful figure in his time, his legacy will forever be tainted by his involvement in organized crime and the harm he caused to others.